Hello guys, welcome to the Wars and Weapons channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the third Punic War. The third and the last war in the Punic War series, which as I said, was a series of wars between the Roman, the newborn Roman Republic and the main dominant power of the Mediterranean at the time, the Carthaginian Empire. Now, in my video about the second Punic War, I said that the Carthaginians lost the war and they surrendered to the Roman Republic, meaning that they were now a puppet of the Roman Republic. So they actually had to uh, follow a set of rules that was set by the Roman Senate. And those rules included some limitations, such as they could not uh, have an army of over a certain amount of soldiers, and they also couldn't wage war against any country or any nation or any tribe without the approval and the permission of the Roman Senate. And some people actually started using this to their own advantage. One of them was Masinissa, the king of uh, Numidia, which actually started raiding, plundering, and capturing Carthaginian cities here and there. And not only uh, he was uh, attacking Carthaginians, he also was a friend of Rome. So he actually was an ally with Rome. So the Carthaginians, uh, the, uh, they disregarded all the rules because they knew if they were to tell the Romans that we're going to attack the Numidians, the Roman Senate would definitely not accept, because why should you accept a request to declare war on your ally? So, yeah. And then the Carthaginians uh, gathered a force of 30,000 soldiers, uh, mostly Carthaginian soldiers and Numidian rebels that happened to be uh, half horses and um, shaped the cavalry force. So they actually gathered their force of 30,000 soldiers and went on to defeat uh, the king of Numidia and stop his raids. So they went on and the Numidians were actually smart. They knew that uh, attacking the Carthaginians wouldn't be smart because the Carthaginians actually had better weapons and were better armed and were also, the rebels would actually help. They knew the tactics of the Numidians, so they would actually help the Carthaginians understand them and fight back pretty easily. So it wouldn't be uh, smart to attack back. So instead they retreated back to somewhere so that the Carthaginians have to follow them and the Carthaginians would actually fall into desert. And then after that, the Numidians actually surrounded the Carthaginians and uh, stopped their supply routes. So now the Carthaginians had to uh, to stay stuck in the desert without food, water, and any supply routes. And the uh, Carthaginians actually thought that, like, well, uh, the Numidians are just tribesmen. They are not well-disciplined. They will definitely break off their uh, blockade after a few days, which they were actually wrong, because uh, King Mosinius of Numidia actually had a well-disciplined force, and... They had efficient logistics, so it would they wouldn't break their uh, blockade. And the Carthaginians actually stayed hungry until they decided to surrender to the Numidians, which the Numidians actually didn't accept. Instead, they started slaying the Carthaginians. And then after that, Hosdrubal, the brother of Honeywell, which we talked a lot about him in the Second Punic War, uh, he is, uh, went on and managed to escape with most of his officers, but most of his soldiers were slain. Now, after that defeat, the, the Romans, they weren't happy that they actually decided to wage war against the Numidians. So they actually gathered a large force and put them on ships and sailed to Utica, which was a, a city under Roman control back then. So after that, they went on and started attacking the Carthaginians and started taking their lands until... They reached the city of Carthage, which they laid siege there and stopped their uh, supply route so that they can't get food and anything else. But the Carthaginians still had their port. So the Romans also uh, get, gathered a few ships to blockade the port to stop trade routes and uh, supply routes from the sea. Uh, so, of course, uh, they gathered there and they blockaded the port. And now the Carthaginians couldn't get supplies from water. But Hasdrubal, again, the brother of Honeywell, managed to uh, get 53 remes. Three remes are the name of ships that were named after the fact that they had three rows of oars to uh, row the ship. 
So now, in Garadam, it managed to find a spot that was weakly guarded by the Romans. It could easily break them off and uh, escort the trade ships that were going to come to the Carthaginians land. So he actually done that. He managed to destroy a, a small part of the Roman ships and managed to escort the trade ships uh, back to the Carthaginian city. So after that, the Romans also uh, tightened their blockade and made sure that every single area was perfectly patrolled so that Hasdrubal can't do such an act again. After a few, after three years of siege, the Romans were tired. The Carthaginians were about to surrender, which again, the Romans didn't accept, this time with the Romans. That time the Medians didn't accept, this time the Romans didn't accept. So this time they actually uh, grabbed on and killed every single soldier and most of the population of the city of Carthage, and they managed to get 50,000 people and sold them to slavery. And that was how the Third Punic War ended. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the war bell to be notified of the rest of the wars that will occur on the channel later. Thank you for watching again, and stand by for the next video.